Uh, today is the uh, recruits final practical for accident investigation. They'll show up. Uh, we got a set of kids, a set of recruits doing uh, first aid. They'll perform triage, basic first aid, wait for fire rescue to show up. Then we have a set of kids or recruits that will come out, do traffic control. Some more recruits will come out, photograph the uh, vehicles, the roadway evidence. And then we have another recruit that will investigate the actual accident itself. They're all two vehicle accidents. Um, one's, one vehicle is going to be a rollover. Um, and it kind of depends on how the instructor set it up with tire marks and gouging marks on the roadway. The cadets are in their, I believe it's going to be like the last two weeks before they graduate. They graduate in July 25th. It's about a 24-week process. And then they go out to the FTO program, which they'll be with uh, with another trooper. It's been on the road for a while, and that program lasts about six months. The State Patrol's doing a mock extrication. They're just training, they're getting the recruits out of, uh, getting them ready to graduate, and this is one of their, their last classes slash uh, evaluations for them. And they're just having a lot of the rural area, or a lot of the departments in the area just help out to interact with a lot of the other departments during vehicle accidents and uh, extrications involved with injuries. They're just going to have us rotate through and uh, that way each group of uh, recruits will be at a different scene with a you know, different crew every time. Uh, role I'm a uh, patient or victim I guess uh, however you would like to say it and uh, I was uh, in a car crash and I was ejected from the vehicle. I'd be injured and with the injuries that would be consistent with, uh, with being ejected from a vehicle. Uh, the State Patrol has to come to the scene and uh, act appropriate for the type of injuries uh, and the type of crash that they were called to. I've noticed a little bit of difference. Uh, in general though, they, they do pretty much do everything the same way and they've all done a real good job uh, of doing exactly what they're supposed to do when they're you know, the first responder on the scene. Uh, my job here was I was the first responder and it was taking care of the injuries, a medical res response, basic first aid until ambulance arrived. By next week it'll be 23 weeks of training all the pieces and components of an accident such as this have been broken down step by step, taught from the basics, combined in pieces, and by the time you get the real scenario, um, it, it all just comes together and in your mind you just handle it piece by piece as you were taught. I'm looking forward to putting it uh, hands on. I just finished coming off some active duty training. I wasn't sure. I'm still in the guard. I wasn't sure what I was going to do and someone mentioned a uh, police opening in Illinois where we were living. And it, it did, it instantly clicked that, that that was the right spot for me. Uh, definitely something of interest and a place to put my skills to use. We sold our house. I'm, I'm born and raised from Nebraska. So we saw this as an opportunity to both move back and continue a line of work that I enjoy. The part that appeals to me the most is no matter what you're doing, you're helping in some way. Um, sometimes you're going to get the glory in, in helping someone who's injured and sometimes you're not and you're going to you know maybe cause someone a bad day. Um, let's say writing a speeding ticket, but in, in both cases you're enforcing the law, you're making the place safer, the whole state, uh, and I just enjoy being able to help the community as a whole and getting to be involved with the community I live in.